Hey guys, my name is Matthew, and today we're talking about a trip I took a year ago to Costa Rica for dental tourism. A year later, how are my teeth? Here we go. So a year ago, I took a trip to Costa Rica from the United States for dental tourism. Dental tourism, if you're not familiar, is the process of leaving your country of home to go get dental work done somewhere else because it's less expensive. It's actually pretty popular in the US and in the UK because both of these countries have incredibly expensive rates for dental work. For the US, we like to go to Costa Rica or Mexico because they're closer. The UK tends to go to places like Turkey or Hungary. Um, and then if you're elsewhere in the world, Thailand is also another pretty popular place to go. The reason you do it is because you can get the same or similar dental work done for a fraction of the price of what you can get it done in your home country. And that's exactly what I did one year ago. I actually made a video about my travels to Costa Rica, including all the vacation kind of elements, plus the dental work, and I put them all in a video. It should pop up in a card right here. This video is about how I feel a year later. I've got three major ways that that work had changed my life, and I've also got kind of an update on durability and how they're lasting and how they're doing and all those types of things. The first way that dental tourism changed my life is actually this YouTube channel. I actually started this YouTube channel because I was taking that trip to Costa Rica. I felt like I had to document it. I'd been thinking about and, and trying to decide on a YouTube channel for a long time, but it really made sense with that trip. I had to figure out a way to get some of this news out. And I knew a lot of people who wanted to know about dental tourism. They didn't know if it really worked or if it was worth it or if it was going to be really scary and all those different things. And so this gave me an avenue with which to start. Starting a little over a year ago, I posted a video at least every single week since then. And while lots of those videos have since been unlisted because they were kind of naff and they got like 20 views, I've become a much better filmmaker because of this YouTube channel. And so I really appreciate the fact that this got that that actually helped me to jumpstart my YouTube channel in general. The second way that my dental work has changed my life is it has changed the way I look. That seems obvious in so many ways that once you get dental work, I got a significant amount of dental work. And so when I look at the pictures of myself from before and after, it's a huge difference. I barely recognize the person that I was before. And that's a good thing. I'm much more photogenic and I just look better. It's one of those things where you don't really notice that someone's got a bad smile, but that person always does. And so I always recognized that my smile was bad. I also had some health issues that were going on with some of my teeth. And so it was such a big deal for me to go and get them done because I just look so much better after than before the dental work. That's something I really appreciate about it was I really do feel like I look a lot better. A third thing that has changed about my life is my confidence levels. Now, I don't want to say that I'm super, super vain and that my the way that I look affects the way that I act and all that, but in some levels, that's true for everyone. I really do care what people think about me, and I was always very self-conscious about my smile. Even if I wasn't doing it actively, I'd come into a new situation and I would be kind of changing the way that I acted because I wanted to kind of hide my smile. And now it's not even a concern for me. I don't think about my teeth when I talk to other people. Not because I think my teeth look so great and so like it hasn't turned the other way where it's a pride thing, but I just don't have to worry about it anymore. One thing I want to talk about before we go into durability is if you're interested in going to Costa Rica to get dental work done, I have a major recommendation. I really recommend you talk to a guy named Bob from CostaRicanDental.com. You can search for Bob and Costa Rica Dental on Google, or you can go to his website, CostaRicanDental.com. He made my trip way better. He soothed all the details out, helped me get hotels. He helped me to understand what work I would even need to be done and how much it was going to cost. He made everything really, really smooth and easy, and I recommend him 100%. Go ahead and head over to his website, give him a call, and just let him know that Matthew from Schaefer's Family Adventures sent you. Uh, I'm sure he'll be able to work with you and help you to get a great deal for some dental work if you're thinking about it. As far as durability goes, these teeth have acted exactly like natural teeth for me. I can eat apples and stringy meat and I have no issues talking. I've never had any issues with care or anything like that. Overall, my experience with my teeth has been amazing. I've absolutely loved them and they've just been really, really great. I know that's not necessarily everyone's experience. Some people don't like their new teeth and some people feel like they hurt them and things like that, but I had no pain. I had very little pain even while I was going through the procedures. Everything was really great and the experience there was wonderful. Again, if you're looking for a cost breakdown, uh, if you're in the UK, it's not going to be quite this much, but in the US, I made a video about some of the approximate costs of, of the procedures I did versus what they would have cost me in the US, and it was pretty extreme difference. I saved a lot of money going that route. Again, my experience with my teeth has been overall really, really positive. 
it has changed my life in a lot of really positive ways. And it has not had literally any negative repercussions, except that it did cost a bit of money and a little bit of time up front. Hopefully this video has helped for you in some way. If it was, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you're used to my normal content, we'll be back to talking about the UK and the US next week. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.